Pixar is one of the most successful animation studios in the world, with a string of critical and commercial hits to its name. But what is it that makes it so successful? One key factor is that it has always been at the cutting edge of technology. The studio was one of the first to bring computer-generated animation to the big screen, and it has continued to push the envelope in terms of what it can achieve in CGI. This commitment to innovation has allowed Pixar to create some truly stunning visuals, which have helped to make its films stand out from the competition. It is also known for its attention to detail and its focus on the story. The studio takes great care in developing strong characters and storylines that resonate with the audiences, from Toy Story to Up. Hello, boys! Pixar has demonstrated time and time again that they know how to create movies that everyone can enjoy. This commitment to quality has helped it to maintain a position as a premier studio for animated films. Pixar is one of the most successful animation studios in the world, responsible for some of the most beloved films of all time. But how was it created? Pixar was founded by Lucasfilm's graphics group in 1979. Its founders were Edwin Catmull and Alvy Ray Smith, who had created the world's first 3D computer graphics animation system while working at the New York Institute of Technology. The studio was purchased by Apple Computer co-founder Steve Jobs in 1986, who became its majority shareholder. We yeah. had more PhDs work on Toy Story than any film in history. I mean, mm -hmm. Tremendous computer science, that's what drew me into it initially. Mm -hmm. We don't view ourselves as a technology company. Our product is content, we're an entertainment company, and all this technology really is just in the service of the storytelling. It produced its first film, Toy Story, in 1995. The film was a critical and commercial success, grossing $373 million worldwide and becoming the highest grossing film of the year. Since Snow White was released in 1928, which was the first animated feature film ever, 60 years ago, every major studio has tried to break into this business. And until last December, Disney was the only studio that had ever made a feature animated film that was a blockbuster of $100 million or more in domestic box office. And last December, Pixar became the second studio in history to do that. Jobs served as Pixar chairman and CEO until 2006. It was followed by a string of successful films, including A Bug's Life in 1998, Toy Story 2 in 1999, in addition to Monsters and other films. Pixar is a computer animation studio that is a subsidiary to the Walt Disney Animation Studios. It started out as part of the computer graphics group at Lucasfilm in the late 1970s. The group was sold to Steve Jobs in 1986 and became Pixar. But what does Pixar stand for? Contrary to popular belief, it is not actually an acronym. The name Pixar is derived from the Spanish verb Pixar, which means to take pictures. The name was initially suggested by Alvy Ray Smith, one of the co-founders of the company. However, Lauren Carpenter suggested changing the ending from ER to AR to give it a more high-tech feel. And after that, the name Pixar was born. Today, it is one of the most well-known and most successful animation studios in the world. After Jobs was ousted from Apple in 1985, he convinced the board of directors of the graphics group to invest $5 million in his new company. The graphics group was Pixar's largest shareholder with 49% of the company's stock. Pixar changed the landscape of animation when it released the first feature-length film, Toy Story, in 1995. The focus of what we do is still where it's most important, and that's with the story and the characters. I think Toy Story is a success, not because it's computer-generated. It's a success because it has, a, you know, the characters of Buzz Lightyear and Woody and in the storyline that really has captivated audience. Prior to Pixar, the majority of animated films were aimed at children and featured simple stories with two-dimensional characters. However, Pixar's films, on the other hand, told more complex stories with three-dimensional characters that appealed to both children and adults. In addition, they pioneered the use of computer-generated imagery, or CGI, in animation. This allowed for more realistic visuals and helped to make Pixar's films even more immersive. The success of Toy Story led to a string of successful films, including Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, and Up. <laughs> the studio's influence can still be seen in today's animated films, and its willingness to innovate has helped to make them one of the most successful animation studios in the world. Pixar artists are some of the most highly sought-after creatives in the industry.
Thanks to the company's reputation of producing high quality animated films, their artists can command top dollar for their skills. According to Glassdoor.com, the average artist in this studio makes around $85,000 per year. However, the pay can vary depending on the experience and position. For example, animators with more than 5 years of experience can expect to earn closer to $100,000 per year. Meanwhile, a senior engineer can make upwards to $200,000 per year. Overall, Pixar artists are some of the highest paid people in the entertainment industry. When it comes to employees, Pixar is a large studio by most standards, but compared to its competitors, it is actually quite small. The studio currently employs around 1,200 people, and most of them work at the company's headquarters in Emilyville, California. While this may seem like a lot of employees, it is actually quite small for a major Hollywood studio. For comparison, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar's longtime collaborator and owner, employs over 6,000 people. Pixar's small size allows it to be nimble and more efficient than its larger competitors. Its employees are some of the highly sought after in the industry. To infinity. And... The combination of these factors has helped Pixar to remain one of the most respected names in the animation industry for over 25 years. With a string of hit films to its name, as of July 2019, Pixar's feature films have earned approximately $14 billion at the worldwide box office, with an average gross of $680 million per film. Its films are known for their innovative storytelling, in addition to lovable characters and original concepts, all of which have helped to make Pixar one of the most successful studios in Hollywood. Their success is due in part to a strong team of creative leaders, who have continually pushed the boundaries of what is possible in animation. With commitment to quality and unwavering belief in the power of storytelling, they achieved a lot of incredible stuff. And with an impressive track record like this, it is not really a mystery that they have a lot of money. In 2006, Pixar was purchased by Disney in an all-stock transaction worth $7.4 billion. When this happened, it was widely seen as a way for the company to rejuvenate its own animation studio, which had been struggling in recent years. Now come on guys, we all knew this day was coming. We're getting thrown away! No, no one's getting thrown away! Pixar has achieved critical and commercial success because it has won numerous awards, including 26 Oscars. In hindsight, it is no secret that Pixar has been one of the most successful animation studios in the world, thanks to a string of hit films that it was able to achieve successfully. Wow! The Academy Awards. Hey, Buzz, isn't this exciting? Back off. May I help you, sir? Hey, hey, watch the bag! It's just a security precaution, Woody. The studio is also expanding its reach beyond the big screen, with its upcoming TV shows and theme park attractions. Disney's recent acquisitions of Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios have only solidified its position as a powerhouse in the entertainment industry. In short, Pixar is currently riding high, and its future looks very bright indeed. People make cartoons for a living. They actually get paid to make cartoons. Uh, that's what I want to do. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.